changing a tube on an Inicum light. When you have a flat tire or slow leak, the tube needs to be replaced. To remove the front wheel, you will need a 2.5M Allen key and a 10M wrench. Use the 2.5M Allen key to remove the flathead screws on either sides of the fork. With the 10M wrench, loosen the axle nuts. The wheel is now free from the fork. To remove the rear wheel, you will need a 4M and a 3M Allen key, a large screwdriver or coin, and a socket wrench. Start by detaching the brake cable with the 4M Allen key. Use a large screwdriver or coin to remove the red screw and cover. Here is the axle bolt and drum brake anchor. With the 3M Allen key, remove the screw anchoring the drum brake in place. On the left side, remove the cover. Here is the axle bolt and motor connection. Unplug the motor. Use a socket wrench to loosen both axle bolts until the tab washers move freely. Pull the tab washers away from the fork and drop the wheel from the fork. Now, to remove the tube, you will have to free the tire. First, release all air from the tube. Next, take a pair of tire irons to the wheel rim opposite of the valve. Free the tire over the wheel rim. Remove the tube. Replace with a new tube. Tuck the tube into the wheel, making sure that the tube sits inside of the rim. Secure the tire back into the wheel rim, making sure that the wheel doesn't pinch the tube. Inflate the wheel to 40 PSI. Now to reinstall the wheel. For the rear wheel, first place the wheel in the fork with the tap washers pointing upwards. Use the socket wrench to fasten the axle bolts until they are tight. On the left side, reconnect the motor by lining up the arrows on the plugs. Make sure that the connection is complete. Reinstall the cover, fastening the red screw until it is snug. On the right side, line up the drum brake with the hole in the fork and use the 3M Allen key to fasten the drum brake anchor screw. With the 4M Allen key, fasten the brake cable. Make sure that the cable sits in the groove. Braking should be as responsive as possible without any contact. Reinstall the right cover. Take care not to over torque any screw or nut.